be nice if we could sail the remaining 24 miles. Yeah, it's just quiet people. Pacific Ocean. It doesn't feel that cold, actually. Maybe it's just colder near Panama. Oh. No. <laughs> Do it. I'm such a baby. Cold water. <laughs> this is. All you're in. You're in the Pacific. Is, oh, it's nice. Wow. Pacific. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Sweet. Pacific. We did it. motoring and not sailing but it's also very hot so hot we've got our sail locker open in an attempt to cool down the area adjacent to where our engine and batteries are we're en route to Ila Parida and on our first passage in the Pacific having left Panama City just over two days ago we caught a Pacific Sierra mackerel right away and have enjoyed easy calm conditions and good sailing in flat seas should be in in just over three hours, three and a half hours. Um, the engine's been on for over 24 hours now. It's heats up everything. Yeah. Gonna see if we go sailing. The engine is so hot, it'd be nice and cooled off so everything can charge. We'll see about eight knots true. Our lithium batteries have a BMS that protects them from overheating by halting charging when temperatures exceed 50 degrees Celsius. So, thanks to the hot air and water, and now prolonged motoring, our batteries are no longer accepting charge. We're trying to cool them down, but shutting off the engine and sailing would be helpful. Four. I mean, we're doing four a lot of the way, it's not bad. It's at 4.30 now, I guess it's not that much for difference. We're only adding like an hour. Yeah, so we can play Wednesdays. Let's trim some sails. Yeah. This is a come in. That's so much more pleasant. Yeah. It just really came out of nowhere, that's the wind. Hopefully it stays. I know. I shall dip. The water's rippled like this wind. I know. Trying to air out the battery compartment. It's about 49 Celsius in there, which is too hot. Also, let the engine door open. Hopefully, we can start charging soon. You can see zero solar. Before long, we're pulling into the anchorage. This one, just 80 miles from the Costa Rican border. A pretty spot in a new to us part of Panama called Isla Parida. Our friends in Delos have already arrived, and it always feels good to drop the hook in a calm harbor after a long passage. We finally made it. Got some sailing in the last hour, so that was nice. And see the beach from here looks really pretty. 
So I am just grilling some vegetables um, to go with our fish that we caught on passage. And this anchorage is really peaceful and nice. So looking forward to, to dinner. And we kind of have service. Kind of, yeah. I'm actually WhatsApping. The, we need an agent to clear in Costa Rica. And we're now only like 80 miles from the Costa Rican border. So I'm just trying to, I think I need like three or four days notice to come in. So I'm trying to take care of that right now on WhatsApp. Really excited to try this fish. Hey, that's some fish, huh? I know. Okay, so now you can, um... And I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of salt on it. Put the lid on, maybe? Yeah. Well, I would say we had a pretty successful first Pacific uh, passage. It was only 48 hours or 250 miles or so, but um, I mean, the wildlife's cr crazy. Like, we haven't caught fish like that. That I feel like we could have caught a bunch more. We just, was so much, we had no more freezer, freezer space for it all. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. A lot of wildlife, a lot of animals. Like, we saw dolphins, like, every day, like, multiple times a day they came up. We saw a lot of birds. We saw a sea snake go slithering by. Yeah, we didn't get that on film. It was just, like, this black <coughs> snake with, like, a white tail, and it was just, like, swimming in the water. And we also saw turtles. It's a lot of turtles on the surface. Look, just, looks like, confused. Oh, like, you saw that pufferfish today. I saw pufferfish, yeah. So. Never see, a pufferfish is always in. Under, uh, under reef. In the reefs. There was one in our video in the sand blocks. So um, it was pretty, uh, I mean, it definitely feels like a new ocean. So that part's kind of exciting and invigorating. Like, it's exciting to be in a new place and explore. We did so much in the Atlantic, so, um, yeah, it's cool. And I really like this anchorage that we're in. I'll just show you guys what it looks like right now. But, um, yeah, it's just really, I don't know, there's something, I guess because in San Blas, we were never really in... A cove? Like a cove. Yeah, like this, we were never really in a cove, and this is, feels like there's something hugging us on all sides. I don't know. It's weird. It almost has like a New England-y kind of feel. I think it's the cliffs, like the, the little bit of the terrain. Yeah. We'll have to get the drone out. Maybe it's the terrain. Like usually, it's been Buffalo, Sandy Island. <clears throat> this is like more, I think in the San Blas is all like kind of similar to Bahamas, where it's like kind of sandy spits. There's no elevation to it. Yeah. I think being anchored in this with some like elevation and height and trees, it kind of feels more like a cove of New England or Maine or Nova Scotia even. I mean, obviously there's palm trees, so. But it's like that that feel. The water's kind of green as well, which is sort of like a New Englandy thing. It's not really like blue. It's not Caribbean blue here. It's sort of like a green, like aquamarine color. Yeah, it's really pretty. Got a good shot. Mm, Dang it. So it's finally time to test the watermaker membranes I reinstalled in the marina. Um, I didn't want to run it in there because there's a lot of fuel and oil floating and that's what kills membranes, but now we're in nice clean water in the anchorage. Um, I'm a little nervous about it because the watermaker membranes are right above our refrigerator compressor, so I don't want to like fry anything in there. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the power off to that. And I also put a dry bag up over on top of the compressor to hopefully dry it. I mean, fingers crossed there's no leaks, but it you never know. Leak, yeah. So. And also, just note of mention, uh, finally replaced the batteries in this thing, and it is 89 in the cabin right now. So that is why Bill is <laughs> glistening. Um, okay, so yeah, and there's on. no breeze right now. So let's see if we first step, see if there's any leaks from that. So you can see the dry bag here. 
I don't see any water yet. I also don't hear any water coming out the side. So we have the low pressure side. You can see the water running out the through hole, the reject line. Yep. The next step is to turn on the high pressure pump. And obviously it's gonna increase the pressure, which might expose more leaks. So when you turn it on, just be ready to turn it off in case. Okay. Okay. It's on. Going? No. What was that, you? No, I didn't do anything. What do you see? came in this beach looked like it would be a nice spot but now the tide's up and you can see there's pretty much no beach so I think we're gonna go around to the other side where it's kind of crowded because it's a weekend so I see they have little pongas here with some tourists but that's cool um, and maybe still do our first official dip in this water though yeah we'll do it over there I'm just so curious Pacific Ocean it doesn't feel that cold actually maybe it's just colder near Panama such a baby. Cold water. <laughs> this is all you're in. You're in the Pacific. Is, this is real life. We hadn't actually planned to film a torturous. Oh, it's deeper than I thought. Bye. Oh, oh it's nice. Wow. Pacific. <laughs> I can't believe it. And I can't believe we're leaving Panama so soon. Yeah, we're out of here soon. We're this like is probably like our last hours in Panama. We're like 30 miles from Costa Rica right now. Um, we're waiting, it's a holiday this Monday coming up, so they said to wait to clear until Tuesday to avoid some overtime charges, so we're gonna sail probably overnight uh, to Costa Rica tomorrow. So we're almost out of here to Panama. I'm trying to get on this rock. Sweet. Oh, we did it. About five in the morning, um, we are getting ready to do about an 80 mile run um, to Costa Rica this morning. So, new country. We'll be there probably just after the sunset, hopefully, if we make that six knots. So, it's got the coffee going. And uh, yeah, I don't see much wind yet, but we'll see if we get any sailing in today. Up, oh, let's wake up. I'm just looking at the weather for the day. Some models show nothing. And some model shows everything. <laughs> I don't really know which one is right here. <laughs> like 18 knots of wind, or is it gonna be no knots of wind? It's funny, I don't, you don't usually see this much divergence for, for the weather, like right now. Where in reality, we're seeing two knots of breeze, so um, we're prone to believe the light models, but I don't know why the other forecasts are showing so much wind right now. It might just be like 
very localized weather here or something. This morning we are leaving Isla Perida in Panama, setting sail for Baja, Golfito, and Costa Rica. Golfito is a port of entry for Costa Rica and where we will be clearing into this new to us country. suction part, this is like backing me out the engine compartment, that's supposed to be on top, the heat rises. That's hot. Yeah, it's pulling. so hopefully this will keep the batteries cooler today though. At the other end of this hose is a blower motor given to us by one of our friends. We are using it to move air around the batteries, hopefully keeping them cooler. That was a pretty sweet visit from dolphins. Um, there hasn't been too much activity today, um, so that was nice. But yeah, it's just so cool that like this is Costa Rica. We're right there. if we could sail the remaining 24 miles. Yeah, it's just quiet people. Um, we had a long day motoring. Yep. Almost there. Did you hear that? Of course, thunder. Just heard a loud thunder roll as soon as we got this up. Well, there wasn't enough wind for sailing, but I think it's giving us a little bit of a boost. I think about 6.3, 6.4 right now. There's vinegar up and motor sailing. Um, the earlier we get in, the better. More, more time, you know, we started this day early, so. Yes, we're gonna be anchored. 
Yeah, we left at um, 6 a.m. and we probably won't be in until like 9, 10. Maybe. I don't really know. Uh, it seems like my, my phone time zone changed. I don't know if Costa Rica is a different time zone than Panama. I don't know. So I'm not sure what time it actually is. My phone says 4 o'clock, everything else says 5 o'clock. Well, the engine is back off. Uh, got a little more breeze. I think we're going five-ish knots now. Yeah, five, five and a half is in this one. And we just realized that we should probably put our Q flag up since we'll be clearing into Costa Rica tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're in a far and port, I'm cleared in, so this is the time to do it. Um, I also know they're coming out to the morning to the boat to inspect, so I think the Q flag probably helps them find us. Yeah, so this flag, called the Q flag, that means quarantine, right? Yep. Um, before COVID. You fly, yeah, you fly before you're cleared in. So it lets officials know that you're not legal yet. Guy, huh? Mm -hmm. 